So here's another example of doing a hypothesis test for the sample mean. So suppose we had a sample of 62 individuals and we calculated a sample mean of 32 and we had the standard deviation of the sample at 4 and we had a null hypothesis that is uh, we thought the population mean was 34 that's our null hypothesis and an alternative hypothesis that it's not 34. In this class we're mostly just going to be dealing with simple hypothesis tests like this. We think the number is this number, it's our estimate uh, or our, our prior belief about uh, the uh, number, and, uh, and our alternative hypothesis is that it's not that, it's something, it's something else. So we're just going to stick to the very simplest kinds of hypothesis tests here. Um, so mean is 32 uh, in our sample, and the hypothesis, our null hypothesis, is that it's 34, and we want to know, is this 32 consistent with this 34, or should we reject our null hypothesis that it's the population mean is 34, and presumably we would revise it downward since we found a sample mean that's a little bit lower than um, 34. So how do we go about doing this? Well, the sample size, we'll say, is pretty large, so it's greater than 30, so we can assume that the sample mean has a sampling distribution that is follows the normal distribution. So we designate the normal distribution with the n. So the sample mean, x bar, follows the normal distribution. The normal distribution is going to be centered on our null hypothesis, xo, which because the sample mean is an unbiased estimate of the true population mean, then that would be the center if we're assuming that that's our null hypothesis, that is that we're assuming that that's the correct um, uh, population mean, then our normal distribution is centered on that, and the standard error of the sample mean uh, is given by that uh, that formula, was we've already seen. The standard error of the sample mean is given by the standard deviation of the sample divided by the square root of uh, n, and that's all in review in chapters uh, 2 and 3. Um, so that's 4 divided by the square root of 62. Uh, now, x bar, the sample mean, follows the normal distribution. We might imagine a variable z that's x bar minus mu of x, our, our null hypothesis, divided by the standard error of x, that is 32 minus 34 divided by the standard error of x. This variable z then follows the standard normal distribution that's centered on 0 and has standard deviation 1. So we'll often transform uh, our variable into a standard normal distribution, just like we're doing right here. And we'll see why we're doing that in a second. Um, so we can then ask, well, what's the probability of observing a sample mean as far away from 34 as 32 is, right? So we got a sample mean of 32. Um, our, our null hypothesis is that the mean is 34, so we test our hypothesis that the population mean actually is 34 by saying, well, what's the probability of getting something so far away as 32, which is two units away from 34, so we do a two-sided test, we look at the top and the bottom. So what's the probability uh, of uh, observing that? Well, it's the probability in these tails of the probability distribution, this area, remember the total area under the probability distribution is equal to 1, so the probability in these tails is going to be some number much smaller than 1. Um, so it's the probability that x is less than 32 and the probability that x bar, sorry, the sample mean is greater than 36. Since the normal distribution is symmetric, that's just the same thing as two times the probability that x bar, the sample mean, is less than or equal to, right, we could, uh, we don't really need to be precise like that, but uh, that, that we should be. Uh, so that's our, that's our question. But the probability that x bar is less than 32 is the same thing as the probability that z is less than this number. Uh, 
and so we can uh, substitute in. So we do a little bit of math, and we get that's the probability that z, our standard normal distribution variable, um, is less than 3.94. Then we can just go over to R and type in what's the probability that a variable is less than, a standard normal distributed variable is less than negative 3.94. We find that that probability is, uh, I may be off by a zero here, it's a very small uh, number. Um, and then two times that is still a really small number, much smaller than 0.05. So it's very unlikely that we would reject um, that is very unlikely, I should say, sorry. So we reject the null hypothesis. We say uh, if the true sample mean is 34, um, it's so unlikely that we would find a, uh, I'm sorry, if the true population mean is 34, it's so unlikely that we'd take a random sample of 64 people and find a sample mean of 32 that we should revise our prior about what we think the true the true population mean is, right? So if we think the true population mean is 34, we find a sample mean of 32 with a pretty large sample, uh, that's very unlikely. That's what our hypothesis is telling us, that that's very unlikely. The probability of that is very, very small. So it's uh, reasonable for us then to say, well, probably the pr true population mean is not um, 34, it's something else, and presumably we would revise it downwards.